Hello all, I'm back again. I'm Tasnuta Alom, uh, an official representative of Bangladesh at Cake International. Sorry for the technical difficulties. And thank you so much, Paul and uh, David, for inviting me in this uh, event. And thank you so much, the Cake Decorating Company, for spa sponsoring this event. So I'm back again and I'm uh, showing you again what I will demonstrating today. Yes, I'm demonstrating this cute little foxy cupcake topper as you can see. So how I design the cupcake, uh, I focus first the subject. Yes, I focus here the, uh, as you can see, this foxy cake topper first. This is my main object. Then I design the other things here. So. Uh, as you can see here is flower, small branches, small leaf and uh, some dots. So it's very simple and easy and I will show you very simple, uh, simple way. And uh, I will also, also show you the, all, uh, all the tools what I am using here. So let's get started. Hi Tanya, how are you? I'm from Scotland, UK. So what I'm doing now, I'm changing my uh, camera position and uh, I already go, uh, lost my five minutes. So I have 50 minutes only. Let's get started. I'm reassembling my camera position. I uh, hope you can see my working surface. And uh, for this cup, cake uh, you can use either modeling paste or modeling chocolate or gum paste or 50 50 paste whatever is uh, available in your area or uh, whatever uh, is suitable for you and uh, here i am using this four tools uh, dressing tool exacto knife uh, needle tool and ball tool these are the tools i am using uh, this cutter i will use this side okay i will use this side and uh, for paste uh, conditioning i'm using few items uh, corn flour and vegetable shortening and uh, for glue i'm using plain water okay nothing special i'm using plain water so here i have already uh, this uh, sky blue color uh, one uh, you can see the thickness of this paste uh, I already cut it because I need a dry uh, paste uh, uh, and uh, as you can see my uh, cupcake topper what happened actually I made it three months before so the color is little bit fade now uh, uh, that's why you might uh, think that the color is changed but actually not uh, the, this is actually it was uh, sky blue color before so what color i am using here uh, i'm using here purple uh, and uh, sky blue color and uh, dark pink color white color uh, sage green color lime crunch color brown color uh, light pink color orange deep orange color and uh, yellow color yes that's what i am using and i'm using here modeling paste uh, this is my own recipe and uh, i provide this recipe or to my online class so what we will do now first we will make the uh, line yeah as you can see here is the circle line and uh, I make it here few texture so how I will make the line and the texture I will show you first that for this design I am using uh, chocolate color dark chocolate so yeah very simple and easy This is very simple and easy. Uh, I'm conditioning the paste. Uh, uh, I'm using little bit of vegetable shortening and warm up this paste. What I will do now, I will make a sausage roll, a long sausage roll first and take the measurement of the uh, 
of my working surface uh, I mean to say the base uh, I will take the measurement of my base okay first I will make a I'm making a small sausage sorry long sausage as you can see I don't think I need that much long uh, I'm making it a little bit thinner now as you can see I already cut this uh, base portion uh, I roll it very thin so yeah what I will do now I will uh, add glue with a small brush. I'm adding glue with, sorry, uh, plain water with small brush here. Yeah. Only around the edges. If you need that, you can use. Otherwise, uh, in some area, you actually don't need any glue or um, any glue or water so yeah uh, I'm sticking it with my paste now it's very interesting So now I will cut out the extra, right, and join, I join this edges, as you can see, okay, now how I will flat uh, this portion, it's very simple and easy, I'm showing you. Hope it will work now. Sometimes these pests are very crazy, you know. So, yeah. So, what I will do, I will just flip it over. Yeah. I hope it will work. Right. Come on. So you can see which uh, portions are uh, very thick and thin. You can adjust. Okay. You can adjust as you can see. Uh, I'm adjusting uh, the white portion. And uh, you know uh, on the mat there is already a texture. So when you will press it, uh, it will take the texture from the mat. Uh, I don't know uh, if you can see, uh, but uh, yeah, the texture is on the modeling paste now. Okay. Right. now I'm happy with that now I will show you how I make the other texture on this circle uh, uh, you can see 
uh, I'm using here a dressing tool and what I will do I will make some, some angle texture it will look like uh, it's a string uh, if you want you can use uh, for this texture you can use mold uh, I'm using without mold this uh, uh, without mold I'm making this texture now okay so what I will do I will make just angle and try to make uh, all the angle uh, like lines uh, same distance okay just try to make it same distance yes just hold it like like angle way it's very simple and easy you all can do that right yes see it's very interesting you don't need any you don't need to use any mold So almost done right now what I will do I will uh, with the sharp side you know uh, just uh, the top side I will give it a press from both side so that it will look like you know the uh, full full string uh, texture it will it will have then full string texture it will as you can see from both side I'm just touching it from both side okay I have to do it a little bit quicker I'm holding it very close to the camera so you all can see okay so here you learn how how to use without mold this uh, texture quick 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 little bit nervous I have to finish within 50 minutes I hope I will finish it on time almost finished yeah we are there yes it's done okay <clears throat> right it's look like full circle okay it's done so now what we will do we will make the foxy uh, small foxy cake topper uh, cupcake topper so here we need uh, orange color first we need orange color um, paste 
either you can use modeling paste modeling chocolate um, paste 50 50 whatever you like so yeah what i will do either you can sketch it on paper it's very simple and easy to make the same uh, thing uh, but what i will do i will take the measurement uh, i think i need that much right okay yes little bit less so one uh, the, this will be a oval shape uh, as you can see so yeah i'm pressing it with my finger okay and uh, the next side will be a little bit uh, thinner than uh, the body so yeah this is the body okay yeah that's done and uh, for head uh, we also need a little portion um, you have to take the measurement uh, of your uh, working uh, surface as you can see uh, and sometimes if you use small cutter then the size will uh, be smaller than that so uh, what I will do I will make a oval shape and uh, I will press it okay like that way this is the head right so I need the head little bit fluffy uh, it's become uh, so I'm making again hope this time it's work better than before right okay so yes this is the head of this little foxy right uh, now we i will make the tail so for tail uh, first what i will do uh, i will uh, make all the orange portion huh. um, that's how I actually work. I'm, I will make all the orange portion that I will start uh, making the white and uh, black portion of this uh, foxy cake, cupcake topper. So I will make the tail. Uh, it's look like, uh, it will look like a teardrop. Then uh, first I, you have to make the teardrop, then press it with your finger and after that if you have to make a shape okay like that way so i'm pressing inside little bit and this is how it will look like what I will do now I will cut the end portion and I will join here a little bit white okay so I cut out the white the sorry orange portion and join the bottom with the body Now, as you can see, uh, here is two uh, little ear. So I will make two little ear. Uh, for this ear, you also need uh, to make two teardrop, a uh, very small teardrop. So I'm making this teardrop and pressing with my finger, and I will adjust it now. Right. 
I'm adjusting it with my uh, dressing tool. I need a little bit of water. I add a little bit of water. Now the other ear. Same tear drop. Yes, it's the orange portion is done. Now I will add white, white color. As you can see here is white uh, uh, end of the tail, a uh, little bit on body, face and ear. Yes, I'm taking very little portion for ear first. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I'm just making a ball and put the ball uh, on the ear okay now with my ball tool I'm pressing it right so our foxes ear has done now what I will do I will make the face and body so this is the face very simple I'm making a, a oval shape and pressing with my finger and I need to add a little bit of water water again and water on the body as well because I need to add here uh, another okay so here is also oval shape on the body mm, I'm making a oval shape and press it with my finger now I'm adjusting it on the body and with dressing tool spoon side I press it okay. now the tail uh, the so what you have to do you have to take the measurement uh, I'm making a teardrop and pressing it as you can see need a little bit more so yeah this is my teardrop okay you have to take the measurement and check the size so I'm using here uh, exacto knife uh, first I cut it out uh, this portion and little bit this side and little bit uh, from this side okay now I will smooth uh, the edges with my finger so I smooth it and this is the tail I need to cut out a little bit more so yeah cut out a little more <coughs> yes it's done <coughs> so this is the 
edges of this proxy tail right now how we will, we will do the um, as you can see it's uh, same uh, angle uh, here is the nose and two eyes so I'm making a ball press it just taking the measurement where I will put the eyeball and here will be the nose okay I just mark it so now I will use uh, black color So first you have to take a small ball and then divide it with exacto knife so that the same measurement you will get for two eyeball. Okay, it will be the same size. So For nose, uh, we will also use a small ball, but bigger than the eyes ball. Yeah. And just a little press. Okay. You need a little bit of water. Right. So our foxy cake uh, cupcake topper is ready. Now how we will do the other uh, design. So first I will show you the uh, this design. So as I uh, told you that uh, when I make any design I just sketch it in a small paper. So um, this is better when you will uh, do the design take the measurement so that you will get the accurate uh, uh, measurement. Uh, for this design, I'm using Lime Crunch color. Hello, Christina. Hello, Elizabeth. Where are you from? If you like my uh, demo, please share it. So, yeah. Uh, here I'm taking little uh, little ball of uh, Lime Crunch color and I'm taking little bit of uh, vegetable shortening. The same way I will make a sausage but I will make one uh, side thin as you can see I'm making one side thin so now I will take a me measurement of this uh, branch uh, what you have to do first you, you will just uh, roll it uh, one side like that way and uh, take the measurement okay right so it's little bit uh, we need little bit thinner than this size size so I'm just uh, rolling it making it a little bit thin the whole sausage right now the same way I will roll it okay as you can see right so now uh, I will take the measurement okay now we have to cut it 
So this is our branch. That's how I make all the branches here. So here is three branch and uh, so uh, that's how I make all of them. As you can see, it's very simple and easy. So what I will do, I made it uh, before few branch. I will add it uh, on my topper. So here is my branch. I'm taking a uh, taking the measurement and adding few water. Right. little water so yeah here is my uh, branches so I just add it okay so I just add it right I'm just pressing it with my hand So now I will show you how to make the uh, flower, uh, this flower, it's, this is also very simple and easy. Uh, so for this flower I'm using, I'm using uh, the light pink and pink color. So here is my light pink and uh, here is my pink color and uh, yellow for the middle portion for this flower we will only use two uh, tool uh, one is needle tool and um, another one is dressing tool so uh, I'm just showing you how I made the flower mm, I think the white board will be fine So yeah, what you have to do, you have to make a sausage first. Okay, I'm making a sausage. Right, a long sausage. And uh, as you can see there, uh, in the flower, there is six petal. So I will uh, make it, I will divide it in six. So first I make it half, then one two one two right now I'm making teardrop with this okay one so I will just add it how I make it I am just showing you right uh, with the spoon side of this tool I'm just pressing in between okay I'm just pressing in between so the same way I make all the flowers here the same way so Make sure the petals are spread in all side. So the same way I'm just uh, pressing the spoon side in between of the uh, flower petal. Yeah. And uh, uh, I will press uh, in between little bits. Okay. So don't worry about this. Uh, uh, it will hide with the light uh, pink color. So, so the same way now I will not take uh, uh, now I'm making another uh, sausage the same way taking a little bit of vegetable shortening and yeah right so very small uh, very thin sausage as you can see the same way I will divide it in, in six one two three one two three okay so the same way i'm making teardrop right 
now make sure the flower is in round shape um, so yeah it's not need to be very uh, you know very tidy because uh, after you complete the flower it will look like very pretty so yeah this is uh, the same way I'm using uh, in between the sharp side of uh, sharp and thin side of dressing tool Okay, where is the another one? So, yeah. Right, it's done. Now, in the mi into the middle, now I will add a small uh, yellow bud. Okay, I added a small yellow bud and on the bud with needle tool I will add some texture on it so this is how the flower uh, I, I made all the flower like this way okay so uh, with little bit of water I will add the flower on the cake topper right so here is one flower right the biggest one so I will add it here, one, right, and another flower just next to this big flower. So I'm adding here, little press, yeah, I'm adding another one, adding here another one. Now, as you can see, there is another branch. Okay, so with again with a little bit of water, I'm adding here another branch. Okay, okay, and again, here is a small space. Uh, uh, I will add here another small uh, branch, just half half of this uh, flower. Okay, and the same way I will add here little the light pink color. Okay, so very less amount of water again. Okay, and the texture on the part, flower part, yeah, the middle of the flower. So yeah, it's done. So I will show you now how I have done the right. I will show you how I have done the uh, other leaves and uh, uh, the some small ball. Mm, we are nearly there. So yeah, here I need uh, green. Uh, I have still, I guess, ten minutes. Right. Uh, I hope you all understand. Uh, very simple and easy way to do that so I'm making a sausage as you can see uh, one side is thin now I will adjust it as a branch uh, and uh, Uh, 
very uh, difficult to finish it on time with this uh, tiny details let's see but I have uh, uh, I tried to show you all the uh, uh, all the main thing how I have done this uh, I think all the uh, flower branch and the foxy cake topper so this is how you will do the branches uh, I think another another few uh, leaves I have to add green leaves few so the same way I have done the uh, teardrop so I'm adding here a few uh, leaves okay add a little bit of water the same way how I have done the um, flower petals uh, the same way you have to do the leaves okay. first I add few uh, teardrop now I will add the texture just press it in between okay very simple and easy press it in between now with line branch color uh, I'm using the few branches a uh, few, few lips same way so is perfect. Yeah, we are nearly there, and our time is also knocking the door. Right, so he here you go. Yeah, <coughs> let's see. How, how much I can finish a little more touch up so yeah uh, I will press the same way in between right few more leaves on the top I add added here two three tiny uh, yellow color lips as well if I get uh, time I will show you come on nearly there Yes, the same way teardrop and in between I have to press in between right. nearly there very tiny detail so yeah now i'll show you the purple color one uh, the other side i guess here is uh, another branch yeah the same way making the sausage one side thin uh, and uh, here i'm adding little bit of water for this branch okay as you can see very simple and easy only sausage teardrop and oval shape
So let's see how many I can add. Two, three, four. Four. So before I do the this thing, uh, I prepare here one cupcake. I don't know, might be any time uh, my life can be cut out. So yeah, because I'm running out my time. So this is the cupcake. Uh, I uh, made it before. So that's how it will look like, right? This is the cupcake, how it will look like on top. Uh, I uh, just uh, set it up to show you. And now I will adjust the little teardrop purple color. Okay. I have still few more minutes. Hope I can manage the purple one. This is really very nice to, uh, very good practice to, uh, you know, to finish uh, very tiny details on time. Uh, very interesting. little bit nervous now <laughs> but yeah very interesting yes uh, I'm just showing you the main part uh, when you will do I I know you will get more time and you can make all the detailing very nicely same way teardrop and uh, you have to press in between uh, I think I have to add few more water lines right so we are nearly there uh, Thank you so much for watching my demonstration. I hope you enjoyed my company. And thank you so much Paul and David sir. For making me a part of this event. And thank you so much our sponsor the cake decorating company. And uh, here I have to add a little more uh, white dot. Uh, as you can see, I put here a little white dot. It's very simple and easy. So I add the water, right? Water, 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 water. Where you can see the uh, blank portion, you can add few balls. It's uh, It will give to your cupcake very lovely look. Uh, I just love this ball. <laughs> So I show you one or two if I can, right? My fingers are bigger than the space. this side and now with the ball tools uh, the very uh, little uh, ball tool I'm making I just press it inside <laughs> it look very cute with this ball right just Here you go. I hope I managed to show you most of the detailing. Thank you so much everyone who joined with me in this live. Uh, I hope you enjoy my demonstration. Thank you. Thank you Nancy. Thank you Zara. 
thank you everyone uh, uh, i cannot see all of your name but thank you so much everyone for joining with me in my demonstration okay so see you guys again uh antasunta alum from cake toppers okay take care everyone bye bye